All right, welcome back to DBO, guys. Uh, just doing a quick bike today. Wanted to address a couple things uh, that came up since we posted the last video on the Stroker. First and foremost, I want to give some shout outs to a couple people who have hit us up. Uh, Milton Keynes from the UK. Uh, he hit us up, showed us video of his Stroker that he got going, was super appreciative of our help. Milton, you're the man, your car's dope. I like it, keep it up, you're doing good. Also, uh, Jesse out in California, I believe it is. Uh, I told him I would shout him out in the last video, forgot about it. Anyway, sorry, Jesse. Here's my uh, redux here, so my bad. Uh, and then additionally, Pete Perez, uh, him and I had a bit of a back and forth on YouTube about 325i pistons, and that led me down a whole different rabbit hole here um, on things that I had thought were accurate before and then found out were not accurate and now have figured out why all this happened. So anyway, uh, straight to the point here, what I wanted to tell everybody because there was a little bit of misinformation in the last video and that was directly related to these two fellows right here, okay? So here's the deal. This is a 325E piston as denoted by the uh, longer skirt with the clearances for the crank as well as the flat top. Uh, so again, M20 325E piston. This right here is a 325i piston, okay? And as I discussed in the video, bad things happen when you use this piston with an E crank. This is, I am not the first person to discover this information. I'm sure there are many more people out here that know this, uh, but here's the deal. I originally thought that you could use 325i pistons with an M20 B27 crank which is correct. However, there's a caveat to that. So for everyone out there who's doing this, this is very important. Something that you need to know is that this piston right here was discontinued on July 20th of 1990, okay? So any car with a build date after July 20th will have the correct pistons that you need to use. This is the early eye piston. Now on July 20th, BMW released a technical update to the B25, which included lightweight pistons okay so this is why everyone says you can use 325 pistons okay well yes you can no doubt about that however you need to make sure that your cars don't your donor cars build date that you're getting your pistons from is after july 20th of 1990 okay so this is a two-year piston essentially um there may have been some exceptions to that but as far as we're concerned two years in the u.s the uk who knows you guys over there in Europe, you got different stuff. I don't know, man. Send me some cool parts. I'll do some more cool videos with your stuff. As you can tell from these two pistons, as I showed before, you'll notice that the compression height, the wrist pin height, everything about the piston is completely identical with the exception of the clearances for that crank. So the reason that this piston works, you'll notice is because it actually has more clearance if I line this up real good. And again, we're just doing this by eyeball. So I apologize if this doesn't come off perfect. I want you guys to be able to see this. This is very important to know if you're doing a stroker, arguably the most important thing you could know. The long and the short of it is, is you need the short skirt design 325i piston from July 20th of 1990 and on. Okay, now this is according to real OEM. So that date might not be perfectly accurate but it is a damn good starting place so that's the bottom line uh, you can tell what pistons you have by pulling the oil pan you will be able to see the skirts from the bottom side so if you see from the oil pan if you're trying to find this out without tearing your motor apart completely and you can just take the oil pan off if you see this curve right here this profile in the skirt that means that this piston is not going to work with really anything other than what it's currently working um, now again if you get the late piston, the lightweight updated piston, uh, it has more clearance than even where the factory clearances are for the B27 crank. So here, I'm gonna give you this wrist pin to wrist pin so you can see at the, the lowest part on the clearance part, it still doesn't even have as much clearance as the 325i lightweight piston. So in conclusion, if you guys are doing an M20 B27i, meaning B27 bottom end, I piston, I head, I everything else, budget stroker. This is the piston you guys need to use. This is the one that works with the B27 crank. I will give you a part number, it will be in the description. I will also list part numbers for the B27 piston, as well as the longer skirt early 325i piston. Uh, that way you guys 
you can find your part numbers, do your checks, and make sure that this is going to work. Because my, my entire point about this, and I want to make this very clear to you guys out there, YouTube, uh, the entire reason we do these videos is because, quite frankly, uh, I enjoy doing it, first of all. And second of all, there is a lot of disinformation out there and a lot of people who decide to keep their own little secrets so that they can profit off of them, whatever. This is old stuff. This should be common knowledge. I want people to be able to see the differences. We very much appreciate your guys' support. I love interacting with you guys out there in the community and helping out where I can. So this is me doing my part. Um, I'm trying to show you guys everything that I know and, and let you learn along with me when I find out things. Um, and quite frankly, I found this out this morning. I, to be honest with you, had no idea that there was two different 325i pistons until I went out there and started digging through motors. And guess what? We found the two different pistons. Now we know why there's arguing on a lot of the forum posts. So that hopefully should clear up some stuff about the strokers. Uh, shouted out the shout outs I needed to shout out. Uh, how many times can I say shout outs in one video? Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoy all the videos we do. Thank you so much for your support. The bigger our channel gets, the more cool stuff like this I can do for you guys. I enjoy doing it. You guys get good information out of it. It's a symbiotic relationship between myself and the internet. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys are doing great on your builds back home. And uh, stay safe out there, guys.